What is good, everybody? Today we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the ringside exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition CM Punk. And this one is very special because this is our first ever Ultimate Edition CM Punk. And it is of his coveted 2011 Money in the Bank matchup with John Cena. We have seen this in the line before. It was as an Elite in Elite Series 16. And when CM Punk returned a year ago at War Games Survivor Series, we all knew this was probably coming sooner or later. A year later, we have it in our hands, and I'm sure the War Games Mattel creations figure is not far behind. I'm pumped for this figure, man. This is ringside exclusive. If you want to grab this, go over to ringside collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I'm sure it's on back order, unfortunately, if you missed out on the first pre-orders. I think I grabbed three of these. I cannot remember how many I ordered. Now, what makes this figure unique is that it does sport this light blue packaging. Very Chicago themed, of course, for CM Punk. You got the ringside exclusive logo here, front viewing window of the character Ultimate Edition. You got a shot of CM Punk on the side with the championship, and then on the back, we do have our product shot as well as CM Punk there. What's really blowing my mind about this figure is that it looks like one of those custom packages that you would see in Facebook groups or on Instagram or something. But this is an official release from Mattel. Ringside exclusive. This is going to be up there with some of the better Ultimate Editions of the year, but I'm so excited to have this Ultimate Edition CM Punk. We've been waiting so long for it. They revealed it at Comic-Con and it's finally in our hands and I can't wait to unbox it with you here today. So that being said, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack CM Punk out of his packaging and find out what this Ultimate Edition Punk is all about. So here's the Ultimate Edition CM Punk ringside exclusive figure out of the packaging, and we are going to, of course, dive into every detail of this figure, break down the accessories, break it all down, and have some figure photography for you to observe at the end of the video, of course. But this figure is just kind of one of those dream scenarios, man. I think this is going to be looked upon fondly, just like the Elite 16 was. It's kind of a memorable, remarkable release here from Mattel and ringside collectibles. I think that this is an awesome ringside exclusive. I think you could have put it in the main line, but I think as a ringside exclusive, it gives it a little bit more pizzazz. Kind of reminds me of the Rated R Spinner Edge figure, kind of that moment in time really sought after figure, and I think this is awesome. Can't wait to dive into it with you, of course, and I think this is going to be one of the better Ultimate Editions of the year when we count them down at the end of the year. Should be fun, man, but what we're going to do is run through the accessories you get with Money in the Bank Ultimate Edition CM Punk, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself. So getting into the accessories you get with the CM Punk, man, we get a standard amount here for a Ultimate Edition. Cloth goods, championship belt, three interchangeable heads. That's your bar for Ultimate Edition figures, I feel, for accessories. Now, I think we have to start off with the smirking head sculpt that I think is the best head sculpt. This is the possibly, arguably, the best CM Punk head sculpt that Mattel's ever done. You have the smirk, you have the lip ring, you have the slick black hair. I think this looks pretty damn phenomenal. I think this looks just about as good as you can get, man. I think they did a really good job here, but unfortunately, I think the rest of the head sculpts don't quite hit the mark the same. We can look at the kiss blowing head sculpt, which is a particular look, you know. I think that it's not bad, but it's not as good as it could be execution-wise. I don't think the likeness is, is as much as I'd like it to be, but I still think it's cool. I think that it's epic. It's a fantasy book deal. I wanted this. I, you know, I, I, I wanted that. As soon as I heard rumors of CM Punk returning, this Ultimate Edition popped up in my head, and this was one of the interchangeable head sculpts I wanted, because it is the moment. You have the lip ring. You have the hair all messed up. It is a particular moment in time that I think they did a pretty good job at. Could it be better? I think so, but I think at the end of the day, the likeness is pretty good. I think my least favorite head sculpt is going to be the screaming expression, and I just think it looks, I don't know, it just looks so funny to me. There's something about the, I don't know, there's something about the likeness that isn't quite there for me, and I could be, I, you know, I could be in the minority here. I could be, you know, somebody that, I may be one of the only ones that doesn't like this, but I am not a big fan of the screaming expression. I don't know what it is. It just looks goofy to me a little bit. I think that the Jazz Wears one is a little better in my opinion, and I know there are two different ages of punk, but I think it's like something about the eyes or something is throwing me off. I think the likeness is kind of there, but it's not as good as it could be. There's something there that is bothering me a little bit about the figure, but I, you know, it's it's still a screaming expression. I'd rather have the screaming expression than not have it at all, but it looks a little odd. It looks a little goofy. Reminds me of the RVD one where it's just something's off about it in some way. And of course, you gotta have the WWE Spinner Championship or the WWE Championship, and I want to say, call me, okay, this, there's something wrong here. It says champion up top right here. This is supposed to say Mun Knight, and it doesn't say Mun Knight, or it probably does. It's just painted wrong, but I want to say in 2011, didn't it have dual WWE Champion side plates? like this. So I think it may be wrong anyway. I could be wrong about that, but either this says champion when it's supposed to say Mun Knight or the, the, they're supposed to say, they're both, it's supposed to be a repeat of this side plate over here that says WWE champion, but I don't know. Now another really good accessory is going to be the iconic white and black and red t-shirt here with the CM Punk flag or Chicago flag style deal going on the front. And it is a Velcro shirt. For some reason, I thought that this was not going to be Velcro, but it is. And no back graphic or anything like that. And I think it's a little big. I think 
think it fits the figure a little big. I think I would have liked it to be a little bit more snug and tight fitted like the Elite 16 shirt, but it's still a nice shirt nonetheless, and you got to include it. I think it is a bomb shirt. It belongs with the figure. I just think that it could be downsized just a tad. And outside of that, we do get mic holding hands here that do include the knuckle tattoo. So you do get the drug free with the black X's on the hand tape and white pegs. And then we do get our go to sleep hands with the tattoos that say drug free again with the white hand tape, with the white pegs and the black X's. And these are great. So you do get the go to sleep hands. A little challenging because of the elbow pad to get them in the pose, but it can be accomplished. All right, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, it is a phenomenal head sculpt. I really do like the smirking face the best. I think it's going to look good across all your different CM Punk figures. I think we're probably going to get some elites, basics. They're going to use, they're going to probably overuse this head sculpt, to be honest, because it's so good. But going down in the torso, you do have all the tattoos going across. Of course, no Cobra or Pepsi tattoos to be found for obvious reasons. Got the straight edge on the belly. I really like the torso choice here for CM Punk. You know, I think, you know, it's not too defined. It's not ripped up, but it's not too small like Daniel Bryan. It has a really good balance of the both, and I think it looks really good. I like the tattoos going on. Same tattoos we've kind of came to know with CM Punk with the graphics and everything, but he even has the tattoos on the butterfly joints there going around. White elbow pad has the iconic gear right here for Money in the Bank. I will say, look at the front right here. My graphic is a little bit misaligned, which is kind of annoying, but not the biggest deal ever. This will probably be the version that I'll probably just put the shirt on or something like that, get a different copy, but you can see it misaligned just a little bit. The stars and everything are on there, and the gear is iconic. It's a great gear, and you know, it fits into the moment. Everything kind of ties in together, right? It's one of those defining moments, if you will, but he does have the white wrist tape. He does have the black X's there with the drug free on the hand tats, and then no thigh tattoos before the thigh tattoos, but a really good formula here. I think these feel good. There's pins in the joints. They're not pinless, so he feels buttery smooth, which we'll get into. Smaller knee pads, which is such a damn great thing. I'm so, I'm so happy that they included small knee pads instead of the larger ones, and then we do have the nice kick pads in there with the toe articulation, and the kick pads do look really clean as well with the paint apps. All right, man, so for your feel in hand, this guy is pretty damn good, man. He can't look up that much or down that much because it is just a regular ball joint, but you get a decent amount of diaphragm. It is an ultimate, so the ab crunch is not going to be the greatest, but the waist is tight. You do get a little bit of diaphragm movement here. You get the full rotation. Butterfly joint is pretty solid, I'd say. You can almost pretty much cross his arms here, as you can see there. The go to sleep is a little tricky because of the, uh, you know, the elbow pad here, but I think you could probably do it if you use the elbow pad as the, as the forearm. Is it the forearm or the near arm? But maybe it's the forearm. It, it, it gets a little challenging because of that elbow pad, but if you took the elbow pad off, you could definitely get there, but you have the double jointed arms there, and you can rotate that. You do get the waist swivel like we stated. He does have the drop down hip, so you can drop this down and get a really good kick forward. And like I said, all of this is buttery smooth. I'm not finding any stiffness, any tightness, any really annoying stuckness, and you do get the thigh swivel. You get a double jointed knee there. You get the kick pad rotation. Really good ankle rocker, and you get the toe pivot there, and this figure was made in Vietnam, so it is a part of the newer, you know, style, style figures. It was made in the newer factory, so, you know, you would probably think that it would have some sort of issues, but I'm not finding any. I think that the figure is really, really strong and feels great in hand. But let's get into some figure comparisons here. So for your CM Punk figure comparisons, we do have a bunch of figures here for comparison. We have the Defining Moment CM Punk, which was kind of our first Elite back for him since his return. We have the original Elite 16, which this figure is kind of loosely based on. The Ultimate Edition in the middle. The Jazzwear Supreme CM Punk. And then we do have the Elite 113 over here. And all of these are really good in their own ways. I think that, you know, you can kind of see the upscale, like the muscular size of the torso and everything thing with the ultimate. The ultimate is definitely bigger here, and I wish there was some way to curve that, but it's not, I guess it's not egregious. I just feel like ultimates have kind of taken on their own scale to sorts, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys believe in that too, but I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad here, but with the original, it does seem that it's a little bit bigger there, but I still like the way all of these look. You want to compare the ultimate and the supreme here, and I think it just kind of depends on what you like better, but the supreme is obviously a little larger for you, but it's crazy that we have already gotten up. We have an ultimate punk. We we have these two elites. We have the Mattel Creations Elite coming soon. We have a bunch of basics. And we're not done getting punk. They're going to continue to pump punks out. And, you know, we have the From the Vault series coming soon. And plenty more CM Punks where that came from. I mean, they're going to continue to pump those out. But we do have some more figure comparisons here. And for your other figure comparisons, we do have our Elite 14 John Cena and our Mail Away exclusive Vince McMahon Elite. And then it is cool to kind of have these all to replicate the matchup and all those different things. And they scale pretty well together, I'd say, for the most part. I don't think you're going to 
have any trouble there. I just feel like Ultimates have upgraded in size in some cases. Uh, maybe it's not every single one, but here and there, man, they be upscaling. And then sometimes you get like Roman Reigns and he's too small or something. I don't know. I, 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 but at the end of the day, I think that about wraps up our ringside exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition CM Punk action figure review. I really enjoy the figure. It feels really good in hand. I'll start off with all the things that I like about it, and then I'll tell you the things that I don't like. Off the cuff, it feels immaculate in hand. I really, really do like the way that it feels in hand. I do not like that Ultimates have kind of received their own scale now. I don't like that Elites and Ultimates are not in perfect scale anymore. I don't really know where that got lost. I don't know how that actually happened over time. I guess it was kind of a gradual thing, but I feel like a lot, or maybe Elites were always too small. Maybe they're kind of changing that over time. I don't know, but I don't think it's perfect scale, or it's a little bigger than his previous Elites. I think it has a really nice formula. You know, we don't have to worry about the Daniel Bryan torso. I think that it fits that build of CM Punk. It has the smaller knee pads. It's great gear. My only real gripes with the figure come in with the head sculpts. I think that the smirking head sculpt is fantastic, but the screaming expression is a little wild for me. I think that it could have been much stronger. I think the Jazzwares version is better in my opinion. And then I think that the blowing kiss face is pretty good for the most part, but I think that it could have been better. I don't think that it's just, you know, chef's kiss amazing, but it's obviously very good. I do enjoy the figure. I'm glad that it has all these expressive head sculpts. I think that's what it was made for. I think that, you know, a lot of the details here are nice. And I think one more gripe I would have is I think the shirt's a little big. I think the shirt fits him a little big. I think that it is an oversized shirt. I really wish they could have gotten it you know, is it sublimated or whatever, where it doesn't have Velcro in it? I think that would have also been really cool. Or just rehash the Elite 16. Maybe that's not something they could do, but no back graphic kind of stinks. But at the same time, I think they did a really good job here at this execution. And I think this is going to be a, a beloved figure for a very long time. I think people are going to really enjoy this figure over time, and it is a great piece. I think it's going to come in on a lot of people's top five ultimates of the year, and I cannot wait to rank ours. I need to make sure that I have all the ultimates, though, because I feel like I'm missing a couple. i got to make sure that I have all mine for my top ten, but this guy is going to be in the top ten. I, I can't... I mean, I guess I could be wrong. Maybe there are ten ultimates better than this one this year, and I'm just not thinking of it, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is going to have a strong case. I really enjoy the smirking head sculpt. I think it is possibly the best CM Punk head sculpt of all time with the smirk head. I think it is that damn good. And I just really enjoy the figure. I think it's an amazing figure. Really good job. I think you do need to search it out. If you're a punk fan, it's a no-brainer. If you're on the fence, you know, which punk should I buy? This is the one. This is the punk to buy for your collection. I think it's the definitive punk. I think that it takes the placeholder for any punk you could get, and it's damn good. And we're just getting started. We had the defining moments. We had the Elite 113. We have this ultimate here. We're going to have the Mattel Creations coming soon, and we have plenty of basics coming Plenty of ultimates to come down the line, I'm sure. They're, they're, they're definitely going to make more of this guy, but he was a, a ton of fun to shoot, a really awesome figure, and I had a ton of fun with it, man. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy the figure, and hats off to Mattel and Ringside Collectibles for bringing this together. I think that it is a great piece, but I think that is pretty much going to wrap up all of my thoughts, man. Really fun figure overall. You guys are going to enjoy it. I, I do also will say, I wish my graphics on the front of my trunks were a little bit better. I think they're misaligned just barely, but you know, I'll, I'll put the t-shirt on this copy, I guess, and then maybe my other copies we can do something, but I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on this figure. And a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for your support. As always, you guys are the GOATs, and I appreciate you so very much. But with that being said, man, I think that is going to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Check out my WrestleMania 40 vlog that we posted yesterday. That video was a long time coming, so I greatly appreciate it. Just go over there and leave a like. Even if you don't watch it, man, just go leave it a like. I greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>